friends, I'm glad you stopped by today. My name is Mr. David, and I am an art teacher here at Bright Horizons. But I don't just love doing art, I also love to read. Did I hear someone say they like to read? Oh, hello, Brightly. How are you? I'm really good, Mr. David. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Um, yes, I was just telling my friends about books and how much I love to read them. Friends? Where? Right there. Do you <gasps> see them? Friends, this is Brightly, my dragon. Oh, yes, I do see them. Why are they here, Mr. David? Because I was just about to tell them that we are celebrating the Read for the Record Day. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, Mr. David? Yes, Brightly? What is Read for the Record? I'm so glad you asked. Read for the Record is a very special day that happens once a year where everyone reads the same book. It could be at your school, your library, your community center, or in your home. We all read the same book. And this year, I think you're really going to like this book. Oh, well, Mr. David, you know how much I like it when you read stories to me. I know you do. And this year, I think you're really going to like it. The book is called Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. <gasps> Did you say dragon? Yes. I love dragons. Oh, I'm a dragon. I, I Yes, I know you're a dragon. And I, that's why I thought you might like this book. <laughs> Amy Wu and the Patchwork Dragon. Written by Kat Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Chua. Oh, I wish we could make a dragon, Mr. David. I have an idea. I know a simple way that we could make a paper dragon puppet. Would you like to do one, Brightly? Oh, yes, please. And would you like to join us? You would? All right, let's go learn how to make our own paper dragon puppet. Okay, my friends, let's get started. So a few things that you may want to have ahead of time would be to have some crayons or pastels or some markers, uh, some glue, and some scissors. So if you have those things handy, that would be great for later. And if you have some colored paper, then you could use that, of course. But if you don't have colored paper, let's say you're at home and you just have white paper. Well, guess what? I have white paper until it isn't because I colored it with, with crayons. So you can make yours as colorful as you want. You don't have to have colorful paper. You could have regular paper and then make it your own. There is no right or wrong way to do art. I am just giving you some inspiration. Do you remember those dragons were all very different? So for example, here is a dragon puppet I made. Oh, he's cool looking, isn't he? And here is another dragon puppet I made. Roar! And here is another dragon puppet I made. Now, none of them look the same. And that's okay, remember? Unique. Just like those dragons. They're unique. So when I do these and I show you how to do it, don't think that you have to do it exactly like mine. I'm just giving you an idea. Okay? So let's get started. I decided that I wanted to make one for my dragon friend Brightly. So I chose a piece of paper that is very similar to his color. And what you're going to want to do is you have a tall, this is vertical, and you're going to fold it, but don't fold it exactly in half, fold it almost in half. You're going to leave a little bit of a lip right there. And then you're going to get the glue, and you're going to put some of your glue on there just like that. And then you are going to fold it over just like that see that? It's folded now. Almost. See? Look at that. And that's important. Then you need to fold it. Oh, <laughs> you're going to fold it on the fold side. Again, and that time you are going to fold it in half like that. Do you see that? So this is the side that we folded over. Then we took it and we folded it in half. Then we are going to on this same side, fold it again, flip it over, and fold it again. So there, do you see that? So this is the front of our puppet. This is the back of our puppet. So what we've done is we've made a place for us to put our fingers just like that. Hello, someday I'm gonna be a dragon. So, that's what you need to do. 
And then once you've decided what color you want it to be and what you want it to look like, then you're going to start getting some of the pieces that are going to make it interesting. And Brightly has a really cool nose. So I have a nose right here for Brightly. And when you cut out something, you're going to want to give it a little bit of extra because you're going to have to fold it so that it will stick on here. This will be the top. So that's, that's his nose. So I'll start there. Put a little glue here. And then just like that. See? But you need to make it kind of a little tab so that there's something to glue it on. All right, the next part is he has those great eyes. So I did them this way. And I just drew the marker for the eyeballs. Once again, I'm going to put a little glue here and a little glue here. This part goes right there because we want them to stand up. This part goes right there. He's starting to come together, isn't he? Let's try it out. I don't feel like a dragon yet. But he still looks cool, doesn't he? All right. So, and then his mouth. He's got that great mouth and that great tongue. So I just cut out a piece of black and put that there. And then we'll fold it. Almost. Hey, where's my tongue? That's right. He's got that great big purple tongue. And it kind of sticks out a little. So I'm going to go like that. It's starting to look like him, isn't it? Let's try it out. Almost. Hey, you forgot my teeth. <gasps> I did forget his teeth. All right. Let's see here. So we'll put a little glue here, a little glue here. Remember, we want to have a little bit of a tab and then bend and a little bit of a tab and then bend. So when you close it again, oh, I'm starting to look so cool. What are we forgetting? Oh yeah, he's got all that great hair. So for hair, um, just pick some colors. I'm going to pick a, he has a couple of different colors for his hair. And this is a real easy thing to do. You just put them two together or you can do them separately. And I just cut strips. And you can cut them as wide as you want or as thin as you want. You can not have hair. You can have hair. Remember, this is your project. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. Okay? And then um, I like to crunkle it up like this. Because if you look at his hair, it's a little messy. And then once again, go right here and right here. Put those on. And a little bit more. Put those on. Bend that up. And let's see how it's looking. Are you ready? Oops. Hello. Oh, I'm starting to look so cool. Hey, where's my ears? <gasps> That's right. I don't have Brighton's ears. All right. Well, I'm going to show you the finished product. There it is. That's Brightly. Hi, everybody. I love to read. There. Now you have an idea of how to make a very simple hand puppet. Let's go show Brightly, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. And here's my puppet. What do you think, Brightly? Oh, you look, you look just like me. Yeah, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> so that's it. Easy to do. But make yours your own. Make it unique. It's not going to look like mine, and that's okay. Because that's the beauty of that book. It showed that, like people, dragons come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. So make it your own and make it special. I'm Mr. David. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Bright Horizons celebration of Read for the Record. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.